This video is part one of a three part series. Find the links below for the other parts and the introduction video, which explains the overall architecture. In this video, we will configure the AWS IoT SiteWise assets. This is where the KVS Edge connector will synchronize its configuration. So firstly, we need to create the assets that the Edge connector will connect to within SiteWise. So if we go to the TwinMaker documentation page, you can see that there's a link to a getting started guide, which is a GitHub repository. So if we go to this GitHub repository, under getting started, you'll see we've got these two files. So what we'll quickly do is save those two files to the local machine. So I can right click here. that one go back and what these will do is programmatically create the assets that we need so in order to run these files we have a few prerequisites which is python 3 boto 3 and py yaml and i'm going to use cloud shell to run these commands so most of these packages should be installed in your cloud shell, but we can just check that quickly. I switch to cloud shell. Just check the Python. I think that's installed, yep. Yeah. And then the next prerequisite is Boto3. Okay, that's already satisfied. And the last one, PyYaml. Okay, great, so all those packages are there. So you can see in the GitHub repository, it will tell you how to use this. So we, first of all, we need to configure this resource XML, which I saved to my local machine. And in this resource file, we can see that there's already some example values filled in here. So the name of the hub asset is the Edge Connector KVS hub asset. We can leave that same um, cookie factory hub asset. I'm going to change that to CCTV hub asset and the hub name. And then the camera asset names, I'm going to just make camera asset one. So we've got camera asset one there. And then there's some other values here, but we can change these at a later time within SiteWise. The only value that we want to get right now is the value for the real time streaming protocol feed, which we had from earlier which for my camera is this. And the only other part that I want to change is the name for the Kinesis video stream. So I'll call that Then we want to switch back to Cloud Shell and upload both of those files. Let's upload the Python file. And the next step is to just run that configuration file. Now we can switch back to SiteWise to just check that they've been created.
So we should see that it's created these models. So the model for the hub itself and the model for the camera. And then within the assets, we should have the hub asset and the camera asset. And if I click in the camera asset, we can see that it's also, it's not pasted the RTSP stream directly into SiteWise. And the reason is it's created that within Secrets Manager. So within Secrets Manager, the Greengrass device will be able to connect to Secrets Manager and request that. So we can actually switch to Secrets Manager and just have a look at that, how that works. We can see that it's created this camera secret and in there, if we want to retrieve the value, we can see that that's my RTSP feed. So if something did go wrong so that you put the wrong value in at the creation stage, you can also come in here at any stage and change that secret value directly within Secrets Manager, not within SiteWise itself. So now that that's created, we can move on to configuring the Greengrass device.